This is a theme-specific training for responsive sites in theme number two in Drupal 7. Other theme-specific trainings can be found on the support site at support.1h.com. You will also find trainings for all of our responsive Meals on Wheels themes there. This training today will show you how to manage the stories area on the home page, as well as how to add stories items to your site. Now, please be aware that this share your story area on the home page is kind of actually a culmination of three separate uh, items for you to edit. Um, you will see on the home page this kind of two little areas, one for share your story, and then there's also an option to submit your story. Now, if you click on the submit your story option, that does take you to a feed page with stories items on this. Now this is kind of an archive for your stories. Um, so these items are created through content, add content, and story. Now you can also find any of the existing items that are already here on the site in your list of content. Um, so you can always add new stories as well as edit any existing stories. Now please note, that the um, newest story should appear at the top left with the older stories appearing at the bottom if you have an issue with the way that the stories are feeding into your stories page, which should be forward slash stories on your website. If you have any issues with the way that this page is feeding, you can always go ahead and submit a support ticket at support.1h.com. Or if you are in Basecamp working on a new site, please post a new Basecamp message for your project management team um, and they can help out with any questions or issues while you're building your site. Now, as I mentioned, you have the ability to create ex uh, stories items. Now, when you click on each stories item, whether it be Betty or Bill or Harry, when you click on each item, it takes you to a page where you can read more information. Now, each one of these stories items will give you multiple areas to kind of work on. So if you wanted to edit one of the existing items here, you'll wanna go ahead and click on content. And then from here, we're actually gonna sort our content management filter specifically for story. Go ahead and filter, and you will see all of the stories items here listed by the person's name. Now in this case, we are using the share your story area um, or the stories area for individual stories, but these could also potentially be for a group of people or even for your partners, um, you know, within your um, area. So again, you always have the ability to come in and edit any of the existing information. So let's say I wanted to edit May's information. And again, May is right here. So you'll see it says May, and then it says, both so grateful right here as well as May's image. If I want to edit the title, again, the title is just May. May's title does appear here. So each title of these stories items do appear on the archive page or that stories page. You can add in this image. These stories images need to be at least 300 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. Um, so you'll want to go ahead and add in an image. You can always remove any existing images and upload a new image in its place. In the body area, you'll see that it says both so grateful. That both so grateful will appear at the bottom right here underneath. Now, when you go to click read, you are also going to see that both so grateful appear at the top of the actual page. So what appears here in the body does appear both out on the actual archive or feed page, uh, as well as the individual story page itself. Now the rest of the story content should be in its own separate little body area underneath. You can add in images and links and anything else just like a regular page on your site and go ahead and save any changes. Once you've saved any changes, you should be able to see them automatically. Don't forget, once you save any changes, you'll also wanna check your stories page at forward slash stories, um, as you will see potential changes on that feed page and on the individual pages themselves. Okay, so now that you know how to edit the stories items, and of course you can always add new stories items by going through content, 
add content and story. And you will see that when you add in your stories item, again, it asks you to put in a title and browse an image from your computer so that you can upload an image that is at least 300 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall to add in that image for the stories item. The body area only should be used for a little bit of teaser text that appears uh, both on the feed or archive page and on the individual page itself. And then you'll want to put the bulk of the story information here in the story content. Um, after you have created any of this information or added any information to the page, don't forget to save and then check your work. Now, as I mentioned, you have kind of three separate kind of components to the share your story. You have the stories page that can be found at forward slash stories. You have the individual stories items that feed to that stories page. And then last but not least, you have a page that feeds not only an image, but also a title and a little bit of content right here. Now this share your story information is actually a basic page and you can edit the information that would appear here on the home page. What you'll wanna do is you will wanna go ahead and click on content in your black admin menu and you're gonna to want to reset your content management filter if you're me. <laughs> and then you will want to edit the share your story page. Now in this case, I know that the title of this page should be share your story or in this case, Sahare your story because we're gonna change that uh, misspelling of share. Um, so I can look by title if I want to. I know that that's also a basic page, so I could easily come in and sort specifically for any of the basic pages and then sort by title. So if I have a lot of content, I can double check. But you'll see right here it says share your story. Now this is misspelled. That is actually what I'm looking for. So I can come in here, edit this item. And let's go ahead and change this a little bit so that way it is correctly spelled. I can put in an image if I want to. Now be aware that that image um, is going to only display just a portion of this um, in there. And then underneath you'll notice that you have a title and a URL. Now this title for submit your story is actually listed here. So if you don't want that to be submit your story, you could change the title to, you know, share your story or anything else, um, you know, or look at my stories or something. So you can always change the title as well as the URL that that goes to. In this case, it points to your stories page, which I highly suggest that you keep it linked to your stories. Um, and then underneath, you have the ability to just put in a little bit of teaser text in the body. Now, again, that teaser, te uh, teaser text does appear right here on the home page in this kind of uh, blue or turquoise area. Um, so again, feel free to put in just a little bit of teaser text if you want to, as well as an image, a title. Come on down and save. And then once you make any changes, you will want to go back out to the home page and double check. So that should update this title right here on the home page for me. And of course, this link should still say submit your story and link out to the stories page. So in conclusion, if you want to edit the share your stories area, if you want to edit the home page, that is when you will find the share your story page in your list of content. Don't forget, that is a regular basic page in your list of content. If you would like to add a new story to the stories page that appears at forward slash stories. That's when you'll come into content, add content, and you'll create a new story item. Each one of those stories items should appear here on the forward slash stories page. Um, and then from there, anybody should be able to click on an individual story to read more information. If you have any questions, or if you need any help to edit to your stories information on your site, go ahead and submit a support conversation at support.1h.com. And don't forget, if you're in Basecamp working on a new site, you can always con uh, connect with your Basecamp project management team.